Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to show you different ways to interact with a database, especially if there's deleted data that could possibly be contained in it. For this example here, I have a small cystdiagnose extraction loaded, and I only have four databases showing. I'm going to choose this downloads database here. And what you can do is you can see down at the bottom, if you want, you can click on the little arrow on the folder that says open in DB viewer. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select that. Now, once I'm here, you're going to see this pickaxe. What the pickaxe does is it goes through and recovers possibly deleted records. So anything in the free pages, it will go through and grab. And as I scroll down, you will see the items in red appear. And these are items that are no longer in the active table for that database. Now, if you have binary plist, you can see here, you're able to see them on the right hand side. You can also look in hex view. You can do many things within physical analyzer. I'm going to keep going down here. And as you scroll down again, it just tells you all the items. So under purchase, this is a good example. I had zero active and 105 deleted. And all of these are these little binary plists that you can see here. So we're able to actually get the iPhone version. Um, we know the hardware. You can see as you scroll through here, you're going to get more and more information about the app store, what was downloaded, what was purchased on these devices. So again, as a reminder, this little pickaxe, it can be used on any database inside of Physical Analyzer to go in and carve for additional artifacts of interest. Now, something you also want to make sure is that under settings that you have deep carving enabled. So you want to make sure you have used deep carving for SQLite to extract the most information with Physical Analyzer.